Sports. Hello, everyone. The wait is over for former Missouri quarterback Drew Locke. Locke drafted by the Denver Broncos, the team many expected to take him in the first round last night. Denver got him in tonight's second round at pick number 42 overall. KOMU 8's Matthew Judy is live in Nashville with reaction and with words from Drew Locke himself. Hey, good evening, Chris, from gorgeous Tennessee, Nashville, Tennessee, right here on the banks of the Cumberland River, which has provided a terrific backdrop for what's been a tremendous event so far. We're wrapping up day two of the 2019 NFL Draft, and like you just said, Drew Locke is off the board to a team a lot of people thought would take him at a spot they didn't think he would fall to. The Denver Broncos, a lot of mock drafts and analysts, had him going 10th. He fell all the way into the 40s. The Denver Broncos traded up to get the 42nd pick, and they got their guy. Now, Drew Locke walks into an interesting quarterback situation right now in Denver. They've got their presumptuous day one starter in Joe Flacco, who they just got in a trade from the Baltimore Ravens. He's a seasoned veteran, a Super Bowl champion. But that's not necessarily a bad thing for Drew Locke. It really gives him somebody, in my opinion, to learn under, to grow, and kind of get the reins of being an NFL quarterback, catch up on the learning curve if you will and so that is a good thing for him and, and he actually wasn't at the draft tonight he was just a few blocks away at his agent's office with another member of the Mizzou football team it's gonna be awesome regardless of you know, the situation I went into I think there would be an opportunity to maybe play right as I got to an organization and there's an opportunity to learn behind a really good quarterback and I got behind a, a really good quarterback now he won a Super Bowl get to pick his brain and you know, figure out what it takes to be a really good quarterback like him. That's huge. Bronco Nation is about to get really excited, exciting football for the next couple of years, however long he's there. Uh, he's he's going to do some work. And I know he's he got a little divisional game every year that, you know, he's two times, one at home. So it's going to be a lot of fun for him there. So as you just saw, Drew Locke said to himself, looking forward to learning from Joe Flacco. And that's Paul Adams there at the watch party supporting his teammate. He will hope to go tomorrow amongst others. Emmanuel Hall, a late third, early fourth projected pick. He hasn't gone yet. He's still on the board. And then there's Therese Hall, Terry Beckner Jr. and others. A few Mizzou players hoping to hear their name called on day three tomorrow. But the big story tonight, Drew Locke. Off the board, finally, after a long wait, and he's going to the Mile High City to become a Denver Bronco. Live in Nashville, Tennessee, Matthew Judy, KOMU 8 Sports. All right, Matthew, and the third round has just ended. No other Tigers taken through the first two days of the draft. Former NFL quarterback and number two pick of the 1998 draft, Ryan Leaf, is in Fulton to give the commencement address at William Woods University's graduation this weekend. He spoke to some of the school's athletes, parents, and coaches, and talked about the ups and downs of his career, how he rebounded from substance abuse problems faced in early retirement. Leaf also offered advice for former Mizzou quarterback Drew Locke preparing for his NFL career. The talent, he has it. Everybody who gets get drafted has talent, has talent enough to play in the NFL. It's what you do uh, all, with all the other things, dealing with the media, how to uh, manage your schedule, nutrition. You become the CEO of a Fortune 500 company, essentially. More from Ryan Leaf Sunday on Sports Extra. The Chiefs made their first pick of the draft in tonight's second round. KC selected speedy wide receiver and return man Mecole Hardman of Georgia. Hardman may well be the replacement for Tyree Kill, whose future in Kansas City is in doubt after a criminal investigation has been reopened regarding Hill and his alleged abuse of his three-year-old son. Also today, the Chiefs introduced defensive end Frank Clark, whom they acquired from Seattle three days ago. When you can play and make plays on the field and then bring other players which I feel like that's the key I feel like that's when you become a great player you know not just about you know your individual stat but you know when you can attribute and and help in a whole nother manner which helps out you know other players on your team that's when I feel like you're doing the job a big baseball series for Missouri the Tigers hosting the South Carolina Gamecocks in SEC play Drew Locke bobblehead day honoring the first Tiger taken in this year's NFL draft and a familiar face throwing out the first pitch Former Mizzou basketball player Jordan Geis throws it right across the plate. Third inning, Jacob Canterbury on the mound for Mizzou allows this Andrew Eister double to left to bring home two Gamecocks. They led 2-0, but then Missouri responded. Five unanswered runs, including this thanks to a balk from the Carolina pitcher. And Missouri gets a win 5-2 in the opener of a three-game series at Taylor Stadium this weekend. They beat the South Carolina Gamecocks. The Mizzou softball team, not as fortunate, losing 8-3 at Mississippi State. That halted the Tigers' six-game winning streak. Matty Norman suffered the loss. 
the Cardinals and Cincinnati Reds starting a weekend set at Bush Stadium. All Cincinnati in this one. Top half of the fourth inning, one nothing Reds. When Jesse Winker batting against Miles Michaelis, and he hammers one to center. That is gone. Goodbye. Solo home run, two nothing in favor of the visitors. Then in the fifth, Joey Votto, a solo homer of his own to make it four zip. Reds roll past the Red Birds, 12 to one. Royals home in Kansas City against the Angels. Former Cardinal slugger Albert Pujols batting, and there it goes. Home run to left, his fourth of the year. Angels up 2-0. The Royals had chances. Later, they had the bases loaded in the fourth, but Ryan O'Hearn strikes out. The Angels beat the Royals 5-1. to one. Have a great weekend, everyone. That's sports.